what's always been interesting for me was that as a little girl, I mean, I loved all, I always have done, loved all animals, but I always remember when I used to go up to Swain's, Raven always came in and it was always sitting there going, rah, rah, like this. And Swain looked and said, your name is Raven. Now that was my first spirit name. I also got called Butterfly in school because I kept butterflies. So, you know, as a little girl growing up, I loved animals. I always wanted animals around me. I was fascinated by the spiders and the webs. And, and then I had hamsters and then I had all sorts of different, and caterpillars. And I used to love watching them, you know, metamorphosing into this butterfly and then freeing and letting it go. So power animals are really important. And I did a workshop at the weekend with people connecting to the spirit guides. And somebody said to me, well, I didn't get a spirit guide, but I got an animal. And I said, fantastic. That's great. This is your power animal. And our power animal, there's a, a great film called The Golden Compass. And that is all about the familiars or the power animals. And if you saw The Golden Compass, every person had an animal with them. Now, that's taken from very old traditions that stem back thousands of years about us having them. You know, the Native American people, you know, as soon as you, you look at any of those cultures, what do you see of the Native American in pictures or drawings? Wolves or bears or, you know, eagles. So a power animal, you know, people tend to think, oh, I must have a bear or I must have a wolf or I must have an eagle. But an ant has just the same medicine as an eagle might have. And, you know, mouse medicine, you know, and I have many. It's interesting. I'm wearing at the moment a, a bear's tooth which I got given at Sundance. And I never really had bear into my life until the Sundance. And then I remember I was in Sedona and I walked into the shop and there was this big black um, bear skin. And I suddenly went, and I could see it from a distance. And I was standing outside the car as I was looking at this trading post. And I went, black bear. And all of a sudden, Raven was actually above me. And all I heard was this, rah, 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 like this. And I went, uh-oh. And I went into the trading post and I actually took the bear medicine and put it on my head. And it gave me a vision of Sundance and Humbletcha, which is a vision quest to go on the hill. And they showed me this vision that, and then one of my friends at Sundance said, I will gift you a black bear skin so you can wear it on your Humbletcha on the, on the vision quest. So they come into our lives. Sometimes things are very difficult. Now, a dog or a cat can be your power animal. You know, a lot of people have that. You know, any creature. I remember once years ago, I was at this workshop, um, a shamanic conference in America, and somebody said, oh, no, you can't have insects. And it's like, you know, I love spider medicine. You know, I remember in the Amazon jungle when I was doing ayahuasca and there was a, a, what they call kakalaki, which is a cockroach. And, you know, they're that size. But when you're being sick, you actually are grateful because they were cleaning all the mess up. So if you were sick, they'd go around cleaning it all up. So I actually befriended these cockroaches. They didn't, for me, you know, and you watch the children over in the Amazon jungle, they're not afraid of insects. They're not afraid. They look at them as their friends, you know, because they, they, they clean them up. Look at the story of um, the woman in Australia who was on walkabouts with the Aboriginals and the flies came in and cleaned. So, you know, all animals, there's no bad animals at all. You know, certain traditions will say, oh, owl's bad medicine or this one's bad medicine. But I truly, that could be from one person at that time something happened to them and said, oh, that's bad medicine. And then it just weaves around everything else. So I always say, go by experience, go by experience. And so for me, my power animals, you know, I wear my snake ring because that goes back many, many, many years. I love snake medicine. Any chance I can get to put snake around my neck and I'm there. Um, other people will go, oh, no, um, wolf medicine, bear, eagle. I hope I'm not forgetting any of them. Um, but everyone has a different aspect and a different teaching. You know, I remember times when ants have come into my kitchen and I say, OK, what are you trying to teach me? So it's just becoming aware of those power animals, our, our, our spirit animal allies and understanding, you know, when I wake up in the morning and I hear the crows or the jackdaws talking, I'm listening. I'm listening to what they're saying, predominantly about the weather as well, because they're actually talking amongst themselves. So it's, um, it's an interesting way. <laughs>